We have just successfully wrapped up our first season. Now, we're preparing something new. And this one is about you. We're going to be talking about life, spirituality, love, romantic connections, and anything under the sun. Now, are you ready for your life to change? Join me there. Hi everyone, welcome to your bi-weeklies. But before we start the reading, there's just an announcement. So there's gonna be a meetup in LA. It's gonna be in the um, latter part of November. I Let me just, sorry, I forgot the calendar. Um, it's in, gonna be in the week of, uh, I believe it's between 18 to the 22nd, okay? We haven't come up with a date, but it's in between those week, in between those days. Um, and there's going to be a link down there, okay? We're going to send you an invite, okay? Um, but it's limited time that you can attend because it's a meetup. It's where we're going to be um, launching the Filling Sisters with Sal, okay? So the time that you're watching this, um, something has aired already in the other channel. So check that out. Well, just the clip, okay? So there's going to be, the whole information will be sent out in the email for the meetup. Okay, so it's in the description box. It's a limited sitting because we cannot accommodate, you know, it's like much of a crowd. <laughs> okay, so I will see you in the event. Okay, so that's that one concern. Now let's begin your reading. Okay, mm. let's see what's going on here. What else? Yeah, so it's going to be limited. Okay, so that in the description box is where you can get the tickets. Okay, so here we go. Let's see. And the last day for us, for you guys to get it, the ticket also, I believe it's the 11th of November. Okay? But, you know, it's like, what we cannot, we cannot, it's like, we probably it's going to be finished soon before that. Because there's only two people <laughs> going to be attending. No kidding. Okay, so you got that. Okay. So let's see what's going on with my concealer. Okay. Oh, and if you're wondering where, um, it's gonna be in LA. Okay, right. so it's LA. All right. Let's see here. What's going on? For my Cancerian. Let's see here. Cancerian. There we go. We got the hangman trying to solve a situation. Um, you're waiting for someone to come towards you. I feel like uh. You're waiting for for someone to save you from a situation, or they're waiting to be saved. Look at that one. Someone is being alone in the dark. See there. Or you're feeling left out at the same time. It's like they just left you dangling over there, and you know this person is first the situation. You're uh, you're you're feeling why this person left you there. Why this person. Um, it's like, but you're still hopeful. It's almost like you're not, um, you're not phased by this. Like if, if the situation is on hold, you're not phased by it. I sense that there's a positive energy around you and you're really saying, so it's like, no, this person is going to come back. This person is going to message. There's a lot of hope. Mm -hmm. Now, I feel like, look at this. I feel like this is some, looks like a tonsil. Like, so this looks <laughs> very weird, but you're expecting this person to talk to you. That's what I'm feeling. They're going to message me soon. That's the hangman. You're in that mode. Expectation-wise, you're trying to see the better than the worse because it's really terrible you being in the dark right there. And, you know, it's like, you could be just being in the dark and not knowing. It's just like, you have no clue right now what's going to happen next. So for you, the only thing that you're expecting is a message on this person. Yes? Let's see here. Seven of Cups. But this person hasn't, uh, hasn't been any, making any move. I mean, they're, they're thinking about you. Yes. But... They don't even know that you're you're waiting for them. They don't know that you're you have expectation right now here. Okay, seven of cups with the hangman. Because they're just taking their uh, you know it's like they're sleeping right there. They're just totally snoozing. 
and you're waiting. Like, you could be waiting for a call from this person and look, they're just sleeping. It's like, I wonder what they're doing. And then they're actually right now just in their dreamland. And you're trying to connect with them. You're trying to get a sense of uh, their feelings here. They're trying, but they're non-responsive. They're in a deep state of healing can be also... It's about a partnership number seven. Someone here needs some medical attention also. Someone here is like a, a sleep paralysis where, you know, um, either that or because their mind is floating. And this is two people trying to connect into their dreams. You could be sending out, uh, how do you say it, a subliminal message, trying to get through them. The hermit, look at that. You're probably uh, looking for this person. Someone is, there are other people looking for this person. They haven't been respond to, responding to a lot of people. Seven of Cups to the hermit. Mm -hmm. there could, the hermit could be, you know, uh, I feel like it's a healer. Like this person could be going through some stage of life where they need some medical attention and you know it's like they don't even like these are older people looking for this person that you're connecting with They're, this person is mia they don't want to deal with anything they don't want to bother they don't want to be bothered they're in a mental state of just um how to say this i'm um, trying to get themselves in a good standing by the next day you know so it can be very very stressed like they're all about um you know, trying to ground himself because they have a lot of things to think about. And this hermit is looking for them also. A bunch of people looking for this person that you're dealing with. Hermit can be a Virgo, you have a Pisces. Can be two people looking for this person. One is family, one is you. Three of Wands. They don't want to be found here. Look at this. Unresponsive. Hmm. Someone is taking some time out. They go in, you know, it's like at night, no response. In the morning, they try to look for themselves. And normally, this person is just uh, hanging outside, you know, waiting, waiting for good things to come into their life. They're they're in some sort of nostalgia about what life could have been. This person could have also been, uh, you know, the time has passed by and they're wondering, it's just like, what's gonna happen to them? Someone is worried about where they're gonna retire and how they're gonna settle. Like this person, I feel like it's the same person also. But behind their head, it's just like, okay, once I grow old, where am I gonna be? Where am I gonna um, retire? Who's gonna be with me? Someone here is looking for a relationship with the three of wands and they're constantly thinking it's just like i'm getting old okay this is what this person is saying and it's just like am i gonna be single by myself but who is this person is waiting only clueless that you know it's like that this person is wondering if you get this person was wondering if you guys can be together but the other person is not moving of course they're hanged because this is someone who's always thinking about what that will happen when they grow old or as they get older but they don't see that there's someone waiting for them. It's almost like a missed opportunity because they are not living in a present. Tower. There's a break up here. There's a separation. And someone cannot let go of it. Tower with the three of ones. Someone can let go of the breakup. They're still looking at it in that fire. Whatever has happened. Could have been very sudden, and this can also be someone got got kicked out of home, got separated from home, relationship went haywire, lost everything, and now it's like, okay, what do I do with my life? Someone can be homeless with a hermit card in the tower. This person can't get over that the relationship is done, but the other person wants it, but they're not talking. I don't know why, because they're not talking. If both of you are hopeful. There's a lot of hope for, uh, still here. But someone needs to wake up. You know, it's like, okay, it's done, it's over. 
are you guys gonna work it? They're still healing with the Hermit card, they're, they're in their solitude can be... This is also someone's trying to be healthy right now in the situation, after the separation, they're trying to gain back, you know, their groove. Being positive, they stay, they, they do stay positive, but they're stuck. Ace of Wands, see this is what they want to, it's funny because at first I was looking at the wand here, as it's like, is that the Ace of Wands that this person needs? And then, you still get the Ace of Wands. So someone here can't get over that it's done because it's not done. Because the other person is waiting. If the other person is gone, then it's done. But the other person is not. They're just there. Mm -hmm. Whatever that is. So someone's going to reach out. This is a message that will bring the two of you guys back together. But someone needs to snap out of it. This person is in a zone. This person is in a, a daze right now. Mm -hmm. Very much. Your mind is floating. They're not focused at work. They're not focused on anything. But if anything, they're focused on their looks. They're focused on uh, um, regimen. They're focused on the day-to-day. -day. Like they're a zombie. It's like a walking zombie every day. Mm -hmm. Because they're in shock with a tower. But the unexpected happened with the Ace of Wands. Someone's going to reach out here with the Ace of Wands. Okay? Give me a fire sign. You have Scorpio. You have Aries. The Pisces and the Virgo. Okay? So, thank you very much guys for watching. Concerns. Link down there for everything you need and also for the tickets. It's down there. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. And I'll see you guys again. Bye.